600 pound deadlift. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt, and I'm back with a long awaited and a long overdue tutorial for the in pursuit of the 600 pound deadlift. I had to take a little bit of a layoff uh, because of a setback. Last year, I broke my foot, so I, I fractured uh, one of the bones in my foot. Um, actually in a polar bear dip, uh, my feet were completely frozen and I didn't feel it when I hit a rock uh, on the way into the water and, and snapped a bone there so I had to, had to back off a little bit on my heavy deadlifts and squats. Uh, and then I also, uh, previous to that, tore my, uh, my bicep tendon and you can see the difference uh, between this one and then the gap on this one, the distal bicep tendon tore off and I had to back off on my deadlifts again then. So, it's time to get back into lifting a little bit heavier with the deadlift and in my opinion, a setback is a setup for a comeback. So I'm going to be pulling a a little bit heavier again in my depths, but I'm starting off slowly and I'm going to be very progressive and gradual with my increases to avoid injury. So give me a break if I'm starting off with some baby weights. Every six weeks I'm going to test my max again, but I'm also going to be testing a different pre-workout supplement and giving you a different training tip every time I do. So the first one, first of all, I'm taking caffeine before every workout, a couple hundred milligrams of caffeine or, a, or strong coffee, uh, but I'm going to be throwing something in on top of that every week. So I'm starting off with dendrobium. So I got this from my sponsor and I'm going to be taking, starting with one of these, we'll see how it is, I might up to two after a few weeks if I like it. So I just took one of these and I'm going to see how this affects my workout today and I'll give you guys a little bit of review. So wait for it. Here we go. Late wait. Let's go. Fire it up. Drive, drive, drive. Come on. Come on, drive. Easy. It's easy, but it went up. Okay, so I pulled um, 445 and I'm not going to lie, it felt tough for a lightweight, but it's a good starting point and I'm going to show you every six week my progress. Hopefully I can make some big jumps now that I'm starting to, to pull some, uh, some, some heavier loads. As far as the dendrobium goes, uh, the main effects I noticed from it was a general feeling of well-being. It definitely did improve my energy, but it wasn't like a stimmed out feeling I get for most pre-workouts. Uh, so it's definitely not as strong of a, a boost as I get from uh, you know caffeine or uh, other stimulants, but I liked it, so I think I'm going to probably throw that in my pre-workout formulas from now forward. As far as the training tip, over the last few weeks for my strength training exercises, exercises that are focused on increasing strength versus hypertrophy, I've been avoiding fatigue. So you want to keep the reps in like a, a 1 to 5 rep range, uh, give yourself a lot more rest between sets, but avoid taking any of those sets to failure until maybe your last set. Now obviously today I'm testing my max and going all out, but during most workouts if the goal is strength, Avoid fatigue, leave one rep in the tank. If your goal is hypertrophy, in my opinion, you want to take it a little higher rep range, but you want to aim for fatigue if your goal is hypertrophy. So that's one difference and less rest between sets if it's hypertrophy. So that's my training tip for today as far as training for strength versus hypertrophy. 